Hey everybody, therefore I'll take an opportunity to show you guys what 18650 lithium ion batteries look like naked <laughs> without their clothes on basically. Um, yeah, without the sleeves. For example, here we have a generic lithium ion cell out of a generic laptop replacement pack. On the left we have a Samsung 22B cell. Um, both of these that are naked are completely dead. Um, I wasn't going to strip <laughs> down a um, a working cell. It wouldn't make sense, you know, for that because I'd have, I'd have to rewrap it, and I don't have any cell wrap right now. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm doing this video because you know it, it wasn't too long ago that I'd done a video of extracting all nine of these um, purple cells out of that crappy nine cell pack that could have burnt somebody's house down due to shoddy construction. And you may have seen what this part in the video where I let out a little bit of smoke when I was just peeling the um, the, the tabs off the um, positive cells on, on this particular cell. As you see, I have it taped over now. Um, it was simply because there was a little bitty nick in the, um, the sleeving. It was like right in this area, in that area. If I spin it around, you might be able to see it a little better. There it is. You see that little shiny spot? Yeah. That's all it took. And here's why. Um, it's simply because on 18650s and other kinds of um, cylinder shaped lithium ion batteries, the entire casing, with the exception of the positive button or flat top, is considered negative. Inside the sleeve, which, you know, this is the sleeve, this is the sleeve off of a Samsung, you have very thin material, and somewhere, here we go, this is the sleeving off the generic, which is about the exact same. You know, it's very thin material, but it serves a very, very important purpose. So on your positive, you have a little disc on top and it just lifts off when that um, sleeve is in there. This just lifts off. See? That's all it is. is that right there. And now you get yourself a good view of what's on top of the cell. That little bee circle you see around the, the, um, the center button is a piece of plastic material. That is all that insulates positive between negative. That's it. So if this is not here, a pair of pliers or anything could simply short this out. Like nothing to it. Um, which is why when I was peeling off the, um, the sleeve, my needle nose pliers were over toward the edge and it touched that little bit spot and it's a little whiff of smoke. <clears throat> So, for example, here is a Samsung cell. Again, practically the same thing. If it'd be steel, that'd be nice. There you go. Here's a good look at it right there. And again, there's the Chinese generic. So yeah guys, that is actually what's under the wrapping of the cells like in your laptop. It's that, yeah, that, that, that's it. <laughs> that's why when you handle these things, um, it's very important that your sleeving is in good condition. Especially, especially near and around the positive terminal. It's so important there, especially on that top half. Which is why I was a bit angry to find that manufacturer X, you know, as I call the manufacturer of that nine cell pack, failed to do what this manufacturer here did. Was, you know, place some material between the the tab and the cell to help insulate it. So yeah guys. That's a look at um <clears throat> what a eighteen six fifty looks like naked. <laughs> 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody. I sure hope you guys enjoyed this video from Q Computer Channel. Remember to like the video, subscribe to Q Computer Channel for more updates, and remember to tick the bell so that we actually get notified of these updates. Did you know that I am also on a second channel that's Bike Geek MTDX? Over there you'll find videos of bicycling, weather, elevators, and all sorts of other neat and interesting stuff. Feel free to subscribe to that channel as well. And again, I thank you for your support, and thanks for watching this video.